knew that the technology was originally developed by NRC for scanning fine art and they scan uh, the Mona Lisa. So from the very beginning of the project we knew it would be used to scan some of humanity's most precious paintings and artworks. When we zoom in on a brush stroke, the detail that we see is really quite amazing. We see features that are 100 microns apart, and 100 microns is typically is the size of a human hair. When we look at the depth where we actually measure the height of the painting, we actually get that to 10 microns, so a tenth of a human hair. So it's a pretty unprecedented level of detail if you really zoom in on it. An area that's very intriguing to me is, is you know, we've we, we've had forms of digital restoration and we've had forms where we can, we can in some sense turn back time and actually begin to compensate for some of the natural degradation processes and minute losses that, are, that occur to, to a lot of paintings and that's going to be an interesting area to explore. So this painting by Monet um, is not in perfect condition and that's true of just about every painting um, that's, that's got a few years on it. This is more than 100 years old and uh, of course things have happened to it. So people like me, restorers, have changed the nature of the surface and there's been a couple of quite significant physical accidents that have damaged the surface. And beyond things happening to it, paint changes on its own quite naturally over time and it'll do it in very different ways depending on the makeup of the paint. In this particular instance, there were some discolorations in, in some of the lighter areas of, of the paint, along with some bits of dirt and rubbish that the painting had picked up from some of its structural uh, interventions in the past. So we found some really interesting things when we were scanning the painting by Monet, the second one that we had ever scanned at the National Gallery. And at first we got some really puzzling results. There were things we could see in both the color and in the geometry of the painting that didn't fit with the local paint and pigments in that area and they stood out as unusual. So I remember puzzling over it for a little while and then uh, bringing Stephen in to look at the data and what we were able to figure out is it was actually some form of degradation of the, or contamination of the painting. So it was a, something that wasn't there in the original uh, when it was painted. And we decided why not give it a go. Um, that we would change some of those degradations and, and problems in the digital file so that when we printed the elevated print you were getting a view of the painting as it could have looked if those things hadn't happened. So in a way what we've done is digitally uh, restored the painting. We've improved areas that would be um, adjusted by a restorer potentially with a paintbrush or by cleaning, and we've done that digitally, and they're uh, in the final reproduction there, they look great.